Guys, what is going on? I'm not going to waste any time. He's done it again. He has done it again. I did not anticipate waking up on July 15th and seeing some more John Jones illegal activity and uh, misdemeanors, crimes, ETC. But that's what we got. So I'm not going to waste any more moments. Let's just hop right into it. So John Jones has been charged with two misdemeanors involving a drug testing agent who filed a police report about his alleged behavior after going to his home to collect a sample on March 30th. If convicted on both full charges, Jones could face jail time that would be less than one year in total and up to $500 uh, in a fine for the petty misdemeanor and up to $1,000 for the misdemeanor. Here's the full story from Damon Martin. Excellent. Excellent journalist. Go follow him. UFC heavyweight champ John Jones has been charged with two misdemeanors. Um, Jones is charged with assault, a petty misdemeanor, and interference with communications, a uh, you know full-fledged misdemeanor. The virtual bond hearing is scheduled in two days uh, in New Mexico. Bernalillo County Court representatives confirmed the information in an email sent to MMA Fighting on Monday. Uh, again, if convicted, those are the fines, and the jail time would be less than 12 months. Here's the entire ordeal. Um, so it surrounded the two drug testing agents from the new anti-doping program, Drug Free Sport. They went to Jones's home to collect a sample. After arriving, an agent identified as Crystal Martinez claimed that Jones appeared agitated after he was unable to provide a urine sample and was offered the opportunity for a blood test instead. If you guys remember this story back in March, it was basically um, some really weird stories on all sides and then some footage from Jones's home in which both agents were leaving and he's like, high-fiving them, and he was like, look, I high five them. There's no way I could have committed a crime, you know, five minutes prior to that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so Martinez claimed Jones then began asking them questions, including if they had money, because he was going to sue them. She also claimed that Jones allegedly grabbed her phone and started recording them. Crystal told police that she was terrified with John standing less than a foot away from her during this incident and was afraid that Jones might hit her after she contemplated terminating the drug test and leaving the property. Here's his own statement uh, denying the allegations. I was recently visited by testers while I was celebrating a birthday and taking a nap, Jones said in April. Upon waking up, I was caught off guard by the unprofessionalism and protocol by one of the testers, which caused frustration, leading me to use some profanity that I regret. However, I want to emphasize that at no point did I threaten, get in anyone's face, raise my voice to anyone, or engage in any form of assault. It's unfortunate that false news has been spread without proper fact-checking. I want to assure you that I will vigorously defend myself against these baseless accusations. The truth is, the incident simply did not occur. During his scheduled appearance on the 17th, he'll be informed about the charges against him and asked to enter a plea. The judge will then set conditions of release for the UFC heavyweight champ while the uh, case is pending. Bench trial in 30 to 45 days. It's currently in the beginning stages. Uh, excuse me. He is, he is currently in the beginning stages of preparing for his return, um, expected to ha defend his heavyweight title against Stipe Miocic maybe around November at MSG. So that's the story. That is the... Um, result of this incident in March and again it's just like complete he says she says and I mean I don't want to say that the word of John Jones has some impacted credibility but you know I I, I kind of want to side with what Crystal Martinez was offering again she's operating in a, a professional capacity as a drug tester and um, that behavior lines up a little bit with what John Jones has shown before, at least. Um, but again, I mean, it's 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 kind of just a he says, she says, and I guess we'll find out in two days of what's going to occur. But it is simply another chapter in the very long and frustrating career of John Jones where it's controversy, it's scandal, it's issue after issue. And, um, you know, out of context, MMA put this uh, clip up from when he was fighting Daniel Cormier that sort of summarizes a lot of people's feelings on this point exactly. His history dictates and determines that the same thing is going to happen. That is his character. That is him at his core. I look at that young lady, the PR lady that's on his team now, and I see in her eyes, she knows she's fighting a losing battle. <laughs> I look at his coaches. I see that these guys know that this kid will not change. He, won't, right. he will not change. He's the same guy. He's rotten at his core, and he will continue to... Don't you think that people can learn from their mistakes? Mistakes? Mistakes. You don't constantly make mistakes. No? You make mistakes, but you don't do them over and over no? and over and over. No. No, says who? 
You don't do that. So if you know when a mistake, when you make a mistake, it changes you. You try to make yourself better. Not necessarily. And this is many times we've heard this speech. John, this isn't the first time you've told us this. No, absolutely. Thing. You know what? This isn't the first time you've told us that. So how am I supposed to believe this guy? I don't need to actually. I don't give. I actually give, give two if John Jones is in jail. I can give uh, two. I, I just don't want anything life threatening to happen to him. But anything else, I, I don't give a damn if John Jones is. I don't care what happens with him. So that is a pretty interesting statement from Daniel Cormier way back in, what, years and years ago, almost a decade ago, that they had this. <clears throat> and it kind of holds true. It kind of holds true in the sense that it's repeated behavior. These aren't mistakes. These are decisions. These are choices. These are um, – it, 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 it's breadcrumbs. It's just complete breadcrumbs that lead you to who he is. I, and I think that there's been a lot of people that were fooled by some of the PR decisions and some of the statements and other actions from John. Uh, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to call into question religion or anything else, but I have seen in times, not in this particular incident, right, but other people that will hide behind religion and use it as a scapegoat and say, oh, because I'm Christian, because I you know, pray or, or, or show up to mass once every three months, then I'm absolved. And um, that's, that's just a justification. They're just displacing responsibility um, onto something else other than themselves and not owning up to the fact that, no, I am making repeated poor decisions and I am treating other people poorly and I am uh, behaving in a manner that isn't proper. Um, and, you know, again, DC talks about mistakes, right? You make a mistake once, you, you, you try and become better. Here's all the mistakes of John Jones's career. So let's just start right at the bottom. Um, this is a this was replied to me, and again, um, you know we can fact check every one of these later. But here's a brief list of his selfish and dangerous behavior that's been documented. I can only imagine what he does when he's unobserved. So this is November of 2011, arrested at a strip club for driving on a suspended license. He knew he had a Pri he knew he had prior violations, but had caused that had caused his license to be suspended. He just didn't care, drove on it anyways, and again was at a strip club. Uh, if you go to strip clubs, you know, good for you. That's uh, <laughs> that's your decision making. But uh, next one up is in 2012, May crashed his Bentley into a utility pole, injuring two passengers. Convicted of a DUI. As an ER doctor, I have serious issues with people who drive while impaired and put everyone in danger. Well, problem is it's going to happen again. So April of 2012. Uh, this is this is a month before, actually. Sent a homophobic text to a fan, does not accept responsibility, claims his phone was stolen and his account was hacked. Sure. Um, this is September of 2014. Fined $50,000 by the Nevada State Athletic Commission for a pre-fight fight, getting into altercations, and then there goes fifty grand, which is more than a lot of UFC fighters are making per fight these days. Uh, this is January 2015. Fails his drug test, flees to rehab, but leaves the next day. Only stayed for one night. UFC still allowed him to fight. So in less than 24 hours, he was cured. In less than 24 hours, I can imagine that the first day of him being in rehab probably wasn't even in meetings, probably wasn't even talking to doctors. It was like onboarding and orientation, and then he felt that that was enough, and he is uh, he's complete. Um, later, three months later, April of 2015, hit and run, injured a pregnant woman, and then fled the scene. Did not turn himself in until it was clear that he'd been identified. Patterns of attempting to escape responsibility when he hurts others. Gets 18 months of probation. This is March of 2016. Arrested for violating his probation. While on probation for injuring said pregnant woman, um, he's caught drag racing. Again, putting others on the road at high risk. Uh, on police body camera, he's screaming at the officer that he is a fucking liar and a pig. No remorse no insight to his pattern of endangering his community given another chance anger management and driving classes it's just like it's it boggles my mind the um special treatment and the lack of <coughs> real accountability uh right like that's just that's that and that we're not even halfway done <laughs> we're not even halfway done if anyone else did just this page alone they'd be gone They'd be gone, right? Five years of behavior. They would, they would never be allowed to do anything. Um, well, this is June of 2016. Tests positive for a uh, performance-enhancing drug. And I think it gets cut off a little bit because then um, I'm not sure the, the, the rest of this. And I've got it up on my phone. I still can't see it. But either way, test positive for performance-enhancing drug, escapes responsibility when he hurts other, gets 18 months of probation. Uh, March of 2016... 
Oh, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Uh, so, so we're right here. June of 2016, test positive performance enhancing drugs. In MMA, PEDs don't just let you hit more home runs. They make it so you can punch people harder and inflict more damage. I don't know. I mean, that's that's really up to your um, definition of what performance enhancing drugs do. I think one of the bigger things is recovery. You're able to recover more. You're able to train more. Uh, you're able to train harder. Does that impact like your actual skills? Some people say yes, some people say no. Um, but either way, testing positive for PEDs is disallowed. Um, he is harming his fellow fighters, gets on TV and cries about how deeply it hurts him to be considered a cheat. Then, uh, literally 14 months later, test positive for the steroid, Turinabol. Uh He literally is allowed to take these PEDs um, but he chooses to take drugs to be able to hit even harder. Uh, then in 2018, in a bizarre move, the UFC moves the entire fight card from Las Vegas to Los Angeles so John can still fight when he has said PED in his system. Then uh, literally four months later in 2019, Waitress had a strip club files police report that John put her in a chokehold, kissed her neck, and molested her when she declined to give him a private lap dance. Uses his strength, well-honed techniques, and intimidation to molest a nearly naked girl less than half of his size. In June of 2019, a warrant is issued for John Jones after he fails to show up for his bond arraignment for said strip club assault. Um, settles his strip club assault charge by pleading guilty to disorderly conduct. That's October of 2019. Literally, I mean, we're, we're we're talking five months later. He's arrested for a DUI and negligent use of a uh, a gun, which is right here, March 2020. Arrested for DUI and negligent use of a gun, just doing a bit of drinking and driving and shooting. Again, DUI drivers cause so much harm in and out of communities. He continues to demonstrate this consistent pattern of not caring, not caring about anyone else. He is not just dangerous in the wheel. He is uh, dungeons in the cage. He's much more dangerous behind the wheel. And then today. Um, or excuse me, that's this is this is this isn't even up to date. Uh, September of 2021, arrested for domestic violence and damage to a car, 250 pounds of lean, mean fighting machine raging against a tiny woman. I don't even think that that encapsulates the issue at the the Hall of Fame induction ceremony where he gets inducted into the Hall of Fame and then quite literally later that night has an issue with his you know partner and then is arrested and brought in and there's you know domestic abuse speculation and all of that so that i mean th that's just up to 2021 that's 2011 to 2021 and he's all, he's had instances in the last several years just in march of this year right that whole thing with the uh um with the drug testing agents that now we're getting this result for so like i don't know man i i i don't i do not know i do not know what to really say, you know, because I, if I'm critical of this guy, then people will come for my head and I'm going to be labeled X, Y, or Z. And, um, you know, who knows the powers that be could be like, well, why would we want to hire this guy? He's shitting on John Jones. That's, that's a complete thing that's in my brain. But at the same time, I just sit here and I see this man repeatedly choose to do unbelievably harmful things to everybody including himself and just gets a slap on the wrist just gets off completely scot-free and the suspension of the system right and and the book that needs to be clapped on him uh in terms of either fines penalties permanent suspensions you know i i i just don't get how like nick diaz can be suspended five years for marijuana marijuana usage uh, but john jones has like literally 13 years of documented incidents of harmful and, um, you know, law-breaking behavior. And, and there's nothing. There's nothing against him, right? He's still allowed to come back and get gifted a title shot, choke out Cyril Gunn, and then sit on the sidelines for a year and a half, right? Like, I, I, I don't get it. I just don't get it, man. Um, he is truly the example of just... I, I mean, biggest shame in mixed martial arts history because if the guy was, if he had the integrity of somebody like George St. Pierre with the skills that he had, I mean, man, that'd be a, that would truly be somebody greatest of all time, somebody that millions would look up to and be inspired by, and uh, he, he, he would carve such an amazing legacy in combat sports. But by virtue of his actions outside the cage and decisions leading up to fights, you know, in terms of the PEDs and uh, all that, I'm sorry, I can't consider this guy greatest of all time. You know, I can't consider this guy pound for pound number one like some other people like to sit there in scrums and say because he's just displayed 
abhorrent behavior and decision making leading up to fights to give himself an edge over their people. You, you and I can go back and forth about whether or not PEDs really increases skill level and you know pound for pound ability. Um, but I and, and and we can also go back and forth about well, how does him hitting a pregnant lady? impact his ability to be pound for pound number one that's stupid ben sure believe that that's fine doesn't make it better <laughs> it doesn't make it better um so i don't know man yeah everyone can have their own opinions on john jones i really don't care you're entitled to it um but it's just it's just such a shame that this individual who is so talented otherworldly talented um has has made the decisions that he's made over the last 13 years and there's not much more to say, you know. There's not much more to say. If he gets arrested and is facing up to a year in jail, I think what I, I don't even I don't even want to talk about what you have to do to the heavyweight division and you know stripping him of the belt and and what happens next. I don't even want to talk about competition and the UFC it, it, because I don't know. It, it just it just doesn't seem on the magnitude of what is what is happening and what's been happening and what he's been allowed to just get away with right so that's my thought the crimes of john jones the many crimes of john jones uh let me know your thoughts down below and what do you think should happen what do you think should happen to john jones if you could uh if you were the judge what would you do all right make sure you like make sure you sub i'll see you later